I thought I'd do this example on page 54 of Wilkins' book. It's based on figure 3.8. It's a 0.3 centimeter flyer impacting a 1.2 centimeter target. They're both aluminum. The impact velocity is uh, 0.7 kilometers per second or 700 meters per second. And then down here they tell us all the parameters we need. That the yield strength is 3 kilobar, the bulk modulus is 0.73 megabar, the shear modulus is 0.248 megabar, the density is 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed. And from this, we can calculate then uh, the basic parameters that we need. So I'm going to pop up this screen here that shows how I went through the calculations with the bulk modulus, the shear modulus, to uh, calculate the first the uh, CNOT, the sound speed, 0.52 centimeters per microsecond or 5200 meters per second. And I calculated the HEL by first calculating the Poisson ratio using the elastic uh, equations and got a um, Poisson ratio of 0.3474 and then ultimately an HEL of 6.4 kilobar. And then finally, the Hugonio stress uh, for impacting 700 meters per second into a stationary target, both aluminum, the uh, U-naught, the initial UP, would be uh, 350 meters per second. So you would calculate a Hugonio stress of 54 kilobar. So let's go over here to the input file for KO. You can see I put in uh, the flyer as 0.3 centimeters. I discretized it with 300 nodes so that I could really uh, resolve that HEL um, in the um, unloading profile. Here's my target, 1.2 centimeters. Then here's the flight velocity. It's uh, 700 meters per second or 0 0.07 uh, centimeters per microsecond. Then here's the density, um, 2.7, using the uh, bulk sound speed that I calculated from the bulk modulus of 5200 meters per second that goes in here. Here's our Hugonio stress, which really comes from uh, kind of over here off of table 3.1 from Wilkins' book. I set it to 1.5 in order to better match the figure uh, 3.8. Here's our yield strength of 3 megabar and then our shear strength of 0.248. This PFRAC is really inconsequential in this example because there is no R spall here. So back to this uh, original figure from Wilkins' example, you can see that um, we've got a Hugonio, uh, an HEL that appears in the transmitted wave profile of about six uh, kilobar, and then the um, Hugonio stress obtained is about 55 um, kilobar with this really unique unloading profile here. So we'll go and I'll take this input file and I'm in the same directory as that uh, input file is and I'll run I'll run KO then I'll load in the data into Octave that takes a little bit of time to do and then I will uh, I'll just pull up JMovie so you can see it here. I'm going to plot uh, 7, which is the, the distance, versus 20, which is the, uh, the uh, x-x shear stress. So I'll go ahead and plot that for you here. So this is a movie showing the transmission. And then um, I actually discretize this data here. So you can see the two side by side. So here's what uh, I was trying to reproduce. And if I plot the discretized data on top of the KO data, it looks quite good. So the red line is uh, the discretization of this figure 3.8. So you can see the discretized data in red here falls pretty much right on top of the KO simulation that we ran where we capture this elastic loading uh, the HEL 
and then the uh, plastic stress uh, of the uh, gunial pressure, and then this kind of unloading profile on the backside. All right, I'm going to post all of this on the website so you can have a look at it if you want. Thanks.